Welcome to the Gadget 360 show. Now that's all I can say to you because I really want to go just diving into the show because I'm going to do something on the show no one has ever done before. Yes, I'm going to do a world first. So you've heard of folding and unfolding phones. You've even heard of a rollable phone. In fact, you haven't. Go see the Cell Guru show this week. I've got the Oppo rollable phone on it. But on this show, I'm going to do what has never happened before in the entire world. I'm going to take a laptop I'm going to unfold it and you're like, okay, we've seen those before. I'm going to actually open it out completely. Yes, the world's first truly foldable, unfoldable laptop. Then we'll move on to the Mi Watch Revolve Active. Then we'll move on to the Watch Out Wearable. This is the next generation smartwatch, but it's actually for kids. So we'll take a look whether the watch actually has special features that actually are designed for children and why. That and a whole lot more happening on the Gadget 360 show. It has finally happened. Here's the news that every Windows user has been waiting for. Microsoft finally revealed Windows 11. Deemed as the first major upgrade in 6 years for Windows, Microsoft announced a bunch of new and exciting features in their keynote. The event was a pre-recorded arrangement, something tech giants have adapted to given the COVID-19 pandemic. Windows 11 comes with a bunch of refreshing changes for the most widely used desktop operating system in the world. The first change you see is the center-aligned taskbar. The start menu also has had a visual refresh. No more blocky tiles. Windows has finally opted for a minimal look with just app icons. This does look much simpler and right. The different app windows now have rounded edges which may go either way for users in terms of preference. Windows 11 also can now technically run Android apps. You will need to perform a few steps for it though, like downloading the Amazon App Store to access all these apps. With the beta version out now, the new updates will come for free to eligible Windows 10 users this holiday season. Arguably the world's most famous video calling platform Zoom introduced a new feature recently. Zoom will now show a new field of pronouns for both free basic Zoom profiles and single licensed users. Zoom will allow the users to set the visibility of the pronouns field according to the user. Bad news for GTA 5 players on Xbox 360 and PS3, Rockstar Studios has officially announced that they will be ending online support for the video game on these consoles come December 2021. Other titles for Rockstar to lose online support this December include Max Payne 3 and Illinois. Well, let's start off with our top story. I've already told you this is incredible. It's a world first. The Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Fold. It was shown at CES 2021. It's the world's first foldable laptop. Impressive build quality. Built like a tank. Absolutely military specs. Very robust hinge. Gives you a lot of confidence while you're using it. It's when you unfold it, 13.3 inch OLED display. You know, it's not a performance centric laptop, but that's not the main reason you would buy it. You would buy it because you want the world first laptop. Let me tell you some user cases that I already can think of. By the way, it's not with me right now because the Gadget 360 team has just kind of wrestled it away and they're actually doing a lot of stuff with it. But I'll give you user cases that you could never have thought of before. So for instance, when it's actually closed, it's very small, very, very portable, looks absolutely fantastic. It's got a nice leather, premium leather look outside. Open it up a little and you've got a, you know, both sides screen and you can actually type on it. That's the best way to type because when you want a laptop, you want an actual keyboard. They give you a keyboard. And then when everything's done and you want entertainment, well, open it out. 13.3 inch full screen in front of you. I absolutely love it, but I have to tell you, it's expensive. World's first folding laptop. How about that to begin this segment? Lenovo unveiled the ThinkPad X1 Fold at CES 2021. And while the CES this year was virtual, the hype this product created was real. So today on the show, we review perhaps the biggest innovation in personal computing we have seen in over a decade. Lenovo has left no stone unturned when it comes to the design of the X1 Fold. Yes, it does carry with itself the pedigree of its ThinkPad lineage, like the classic stamp and the all-black scheme. Rest, everything is new. Like the leather finish on the device, which makes it look like a hardbound book when folded. ThinkPads have been famous for their ruggedness and the case is no different here. The build quality of the device is solid. Also weighing just about a kilogram, it's really easy to hold. 
Now, before we move forward, it's time to address the elephant in the room. That is the foldable design. And believe it when we say this, Lenovo has far exceeded our expectations. Initially, we were skeptical of the form factor considering that it is a big display that is being folded. However, after interacting with the device, we can safely say that the execution done by Lenovo is seamless. Thanks to the very robust hinge, the fold and unfold operation is flawless. During our week-long testing, we kept switching between the flat-out tablet mode to that of a clamshell without any hesitation. Usually, foldable devices have an ugly crease line, but that's not the case on the X1 Fold. As amazing as this sounds, Lenovo had to make sacrifices to achieve this, the most visible of which is in the connectivity department. We get just two USB Type-C ports on the X1 Fold. Signing in the device, we are greeted with a massive 13.3-inch OLED display surrounded by thick bezels. Bright and vibrant, it was a delight to work on the X1 Fold. The foldable display produces rich images and crisp texts, which adds to the experience. A super responsive panel, the feedback time is fast and a user can seamlessly interact with it. Fortunately, the feedback time doesn't take a dip even in clamshell mode and we actually enjoyed using the device like an all-screen laptop. The freedom of choosing the form factor also amplifies the experience of watching content. Retaining details of every shot, we had a ball watching our favorite TV shows on the device. To enhance productivity, Lenovo provides an active pen which does add to the convenience with its shortcuts. The sound setup on the X1 Fold is just about satisfactory. Now to the insides. Powered by an Intel Core i5 processor which is just about decent, Working on spreadsheets, writing documents, making PPTs and other generic tasks were easily taken care of. The canvas-like design makes these usual tasks more wholesome and we can appreciate that. That being said, working continuously on the X1 Fold does get tiring. After a while, a user starts to miss our good old laptops. At times, the blazing fast performance we wanted was lagging. As for storage, there is 512 GB of SSD memory on the X1 Fold. Lenovo provides a magnetic keyboard accessory with the X1 Fold for users who might miss their laptops. Connecting it via Bluetooth, we felt our output increase exponentially when we use this keyboard. Although we have to compromise on the size and backlit keys on it, but this again is a pretty smart piece of tech and works well. On the optics front, we get a 5 megapixel webcam which is decent for video calls. The battery capacity of the X1 Fold is not its strongest point. The device lasts about 4 to 5 hours on a single charge. The battery life further dips by about 10% if you connect the keyboard. And with that, it's time for the verdict. Lenovo's attempt at making the world's first foldable laptop has worked out well. The X1 Fold, while still being a new kid on the block, outperformed our expectations. Crazy expensive at Rs. 3,10,000, but then it is a world first and is also an incredible showcase of what the future holds. Strictly for those that buy products no one else has, those that want cutting-edge products and those that want world's first bragging rights right now. Let's move on now to our next story. This is a smartwatch by Xiaomi. This is the second version of this watch. The first one came out, did pretty well. This time they've actually introduced it at about a thousand rupees lesser than the previous one. This is the Mi Watch Revolve Active. Now it's significantly improved over the Mi Watch Revolve, the previous one. The display is better, 1.39 inch AMOLED display, much, much brighter. I felt the performance is better, comes with 17 sports modes, hundreds of watch faces, comes with a nice premium appeal to a dedicated button for sports mode on the watch which I think every smartwatch should have. So at this price point which is loaded with sensors, SPO2, heart rate monitor, sleep monitor, good you know claimed 14 day battery life and it's priced at 9,999 rupees right now available for even a thousand rupees lesser. Xiaomi is back again. Now before everyone runs out of guesses this time it's a smartwatch. After a successful attempt with the watch Revolve in the wearable tech space, the brand has introduced a new smartwatch. Enter Mi Watch Revolve Active. 
New and improved, Watch Revolve Active covers up on some major features that the original product skipped. So, do those additions and an aggressive price tag make it a desirable product? Let's find out. For their latest smartwatch, Xiaomi has stuck to a familiar design language, a round-shaped dial just like the existing Mi Watch Revolve. There are a few tweaks though that make the watch look more premium now and definitely add appeal. Most noticeably, two right-hand mounted buttons instead of one, but more on that later. The strap situation is also quite favourable with the watch maintaining a firm and comfortable grip. The build quality on offer is satisfactory since the watch feels sturdy and is water resistant up to 5 ATM. Waking up the smartwatch, we're greeted with a 1.39 inch AMO LED display. Definitely one of the better displays we've seen on a Mi device, this panel is optimally bright and colour accurate. The animations look crisp and a user can read the text on the smartwatch easily. Once set to full brightness, a user can look at the smartwatch even under direct sunlight. Just like its colour reproduction, the panel also provides great feedback time. Tap, scroll or swipe, the watch never missed out on any of our commands. Moving on to actually interacting with the smartwatch, Mi has ascended on the development ladder with this improved UI. With better animations and improved design, this UI is fun to interact with and easy to understand. The OS is intuitive and the user learns something new with every tap. The UI works in sync with our smartphones where we can customize the watch actively according to ourselves. From smartwatch faces to accessing cameras, this can be done from the smartwatch itself. Unlike the original Mi Watch Revolve, the Watch Revolve Active comes loaded with all the sensors you expect to see in 2021. But do they all work perfectly? Well, to some extent. The SpO2 sensor, like pretty much on every device in this price range, is occasionally correct. What works best is the heart rate monitor, which can be configured to operate 24-7. The heart rate monitor works well and in sync with the 17 sports modes that the watch comes with. Talking about the sports mode, this is where the watch justifies its active name. Featuring a dedicated button for sports, the activities on the watch are versatile and will definitely meet your requirement if you're looking for a device to monitor your routine. The data for these modes can be tracked using the Xiaomi Wear. Just like our previous encounters, the app is easy to understand and work around. The animations are crisp and we faced no issues using this app. Battery life is another solid USP of this smartwatch. The watch should easily last around 10 days on a single charge for light users. If you're a heavy user, then it should last a week. And it's time we wrap up this review. An improved iteration of an already successful formula, Mi Watch Revolve Active is definitely a better product than its predecessor. Trending features, great looks and a satisfactory OS make it a great deal. At 9,999 rupees, this smartwatch should be on your radar. Let's take a quick break right now and we come back lots more on the show. Let's move on now to our next story. This is a smartwatch for kids. Now, you know, this is where there is a lot of division. There are those people who say a smartwatch for kid makes a great amount of difference. It actually is something you should get out there. This is called the Watch Out Wearable Next Generation Smartwatch for Kids. So, comes with a nano SIM card slot, features a front-facing camera for video calls, which is, I think, a very interesting thing. Complementary application has parents. You can actually monitor the usage of what your child is doing, where that child is, comes for a price of about 14,999 rupees. Now, my point is that this is actually a watch that has been well thought out because it's got everything that you would basically want for a kid. So you want security, safety, where the kid is, it's got a camera. But then that other question that comes up, should children actually get technology of the kind like a smartwatch that early in life? The wearable tech market is on fire right now with virtually every tech brand introducing their iteration of a smartwatch. But between all this excitement, there is still a void that needs to be filled. We are talking about a major deficiency in options for kids when it comes to smart wearables. 
Now, we understand that young children of impressionable ages cannot be given access to technology without administering its use. That is why giving them smartphones or regular smartwatches is not a wise idea. But what if we tell you that there is a gadget in the market now that takes care of all these concerns? We're talking about Watch Out Wearables Next Gen Smartwatch for Kids, a gadget specifically designed for our children. So what makes this smartwatch so special? Let's find out. Watch Out Wearables have done a commendable job when it comes to the design of this smartwatch. Pitched primarily for children, the design is not overly cartoonish or animated, but is rather subtle and smart. To make it more interesting, the brand does provide this smartwatch in multiple tepi colors. The ergonomics of the watch is also quite favorable since it is lightweight and children should not face a problem keeping it strapped on for longer periods of time. The watch also comes with an official IP54 rating which means kids can keep it strapped on around water. Pressing the right hand mounted button, the smartwatch comes to life and we're greeted with the 1.3 inch round display on it. Vibrant and crisp, this display is better than what we'd expected. Optimally bright and easy to read under direct sunlight, children should not face any problem looking at the smartwatch. The panel is also super responsive and it gives quick feedback. In our testing, the smartwatch did not miss out on any of our commands. Moving on to interacting with the smartwatch. Spoiler alert, this is where things get interesting. Featuring one of the most intuitive operating software that we have come across on a smartwatch, the UI loaded here is neat and fun to interact with. The animations are unique and children should be able to learn their way around it quite easily. This OS also provides generic customization options like multiple watch faces and setting up alarms and reminders. But that's just the beginning since the smartwatch is loaded with some truly unique tech. For starters, children can store and control music from the smartwatch since it comes with 4 GB of internal storage. Watch out wearables claim that connectivity is this product's strongest USP and we can see why. The smartwatch is GPS enabled which means parents can keep a track of the location of their children. This location is visible through the complimentary app and more on that in a little while. We also get to see a nano SIM card slot on the smartwatch which enables both internet and cellular connectivity on it. There are inbuilt speakers and mic which work perfectly fine and allow break-free conversation. The signal reception is also pretty strong. There's also a 2 MP front-facing camera with which children can not only click pictures but also do video calls. The efficiency of this smartwatch not only depends upon the unit itself but also the application that helps the parents to configure it. Available on both iOS and Android, the application gives unprecedented access to the parent. As mentioned before, a parent can keep track of the child using the smartwatch. A parent can also turn on class mode from here, which means that they can essentially turn off the smart features from the phone except the SOS button. A clever addition to make sure children focus in class. Coming down to the battery life of the smartwatch, the 580 mAh cell gives a mileage of about 3 days with all features turned on. This is impressive given the connectivity options on board and the live GPS tracking. And with that, it's time to wrap up this review. Watch out wearables have achieved what they had set out to do with this smartwatch. Essentially, a smartphone on the wrist. This can be a valuable investment for both children and parents alike. It is feature rich, looks great and offers a certain amount of mental peace with the security it brings along. At 14,999 rupees, this is perhaps a great device. That then was the Gadget 360 show and I have to tell you a little bit of a tease about next week. Uh, uh, the only part of the tease that I'm going to tell you is that it's already on me. You know what it is? Well, think about it. I'll see you next week.